What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you what the offensive playbooks of the AFC East teams are going to look like in Madden 19. Now I've put out videos for four of the divisions so far and have three more after this one, so be sure to keep an eye out for the video your favorite team gets featured in to get an inside look at what you'll be working with in the upcoming Madden season. So first of all, we'll be starting with the Buffalo Bills offensive playbook. I talked about this book in the video I made on the playbooks with the most changes, and this one was near the top of that list. In Madden 18, this book saw a decent amount of play with unique formations like Gun Bunch Quads, Gun Bunch Halfback Strong, on top of having single back tight slots. Now, unfortunately, this year the playbook looks completely different and is pretty much a complete reset on the playstyle. Now, I said unfortunately because it lost some good stuff that made it different from the rest of the field, like last year, uh, but it still has the potential to look good with the new additions. This year, it looks a lot more similar to the New England Patriots playbook uh, due to the addition of their new offensive coordinator, Brian Dable. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, uh, but he spent several years on the Patriots staff. So this is good news for people who want to use this playbook as the Patriots have consistently had one of the top playbooks in the game over the past several years. Next up, we have none other than the New England Patriots playbook. Now, some very marginal changes have been made as they gained three formations and lost single back ace overload, which was probably one of the worst standalone formations in the game, honestly. Uh, with these small changes, New England returns its core of formations, such as, you know, trips tight end, a bunch half or gun bunch weak, single back tight slots, and Y off trips pats. Uh, I fully expect New England once again to be around the top of the pack heading into Madden 19 and for it to be just, just an all-around great playbook for this year. Now, third, we have the New York Jets, who actually had a very good playbook in Madden 18, in my opinion. Uh, this year, they have received a sizable overhaul, particularly in under-center formations. Uh, luckily for them, they kept their staple formations, such as single-back deuce close and single-back tight slots, and then they added new solid complementary sets, such as single-back trio and doubles north. They also lost some weak eye formations at the expense of more strong eye and swapped some standard eye form sets around, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, overall, I think they passed the eye test and will be an interesting playbook going into the year, especially if you like to run an under center style of offense. So lastly, we end with the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. Uh, it was a fantastic playbook in my opinion in Madden 18. They specifically only had single back pistol and shotgun sets. Uh, that has now been changed in Madden 19 with the addition of some traditional eye form and weak eye formations uh, just to kind of help with the power running game for short yardage and goal line scenarios, so I like that. Uh, the highlights of this playbook for now is the return of the Gun Bunch tight end formation, uh, which I've talked about in the NFC West video about how it's being hyped up as possibly the best formation in the game heading into Madden 19 uh, after, you know, the Gun Bunch weak nerfs. Uh, just for that reason alone, this playbook will get some play right out of the gates, I'm, I'm almost guaranteed, uh, but Bunch tight end certainly isn't all that it has to offer. It still has some other great sets in it. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for a ton of Madden 19 content for the upcoming season. Until next time, guys, take it easy.